There were 10 camps total. There were two that were here in Arkansas, Jerome and Roar. And we work as an interpretive center that's halfway between both. Now, Jerome was the first of the 10 to close. After the Japanese Americans were moved out, then it was turned into a German POW camp. We are finding out that the, uh, the camps, the Roar camp is really historically known because it is, as they say, located in this strange state called Arkansas in the middle of a swampland. But the interest in the Roar camp is great all over the United States. For some reason, I guess it's a kind of a mystery or romance or something. Here it is off of the Mississippi River by the levee and uh, uh, a place that no one ever heard of. In the Delta, most of these people, they had never been around this type of climate. They weren't familiar with the swamp, swampiness and the mosquitoes and the snakes. And you know, uh, Jerome, for the most part, came, they came from Fresno, that area. And there were some at Jerome that were from Hawaii. There was like 2,400 from Hawaii. So, you know, it traveled four days and three nights by train. It's sad. They lost everything, and you have to remember that those who came to the Roar, were interned in the Roar and Jerome camp were professional people, and they were not accustomed to living in the tar paper shacks and no running water or anything, and they were remembering those things and then after they got to talking and visiting and they realized that everything had changed and that really what they had done was to do what the government had asked them to do and they would slowly regain in their self-worth and their pride. George Decay and his family were here when he was five. And after a time they were to his father and everyone age 17 and over had to answer loyalty questionnaires. And question 27 and 28 had to do with pledging their allegiance to America. Well, they already were American citizens. They said, well, we will if we can be free. Well, no, you can't be free. You're still gonna have to stay behind barbed wire for a while. The Japanese Americans wanted, when they left Roar, there's a small cemetery there, and it is on the National Register. They just ask, please preserve this and keep our story alive. We would like to invite you to come to Southeast Arkansas to learn about the Japanese American internment camp and the Japanese American Museum in McGee. If you're traveling south on Highway 65 from Little Rock, please give us a, a visit if you're interested in history or the Japanese American experience itself, we will try our best to enlighten you and I think you'll come away with a wealth of information. And we would love to have you. We're a small town with a big heart.